sound offensively. Really no other way to put it here in the second half. There's no, really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they both shot the ball since the break. The kid passes to Lopez. The shot no good. And the Clippers will come the other way. Mahimi kicks to Pierce. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That's on Brooke Lopez. Griffin just having a terrific game. He has 15 points and a block. It's been a really complete performance for him today. And Clark, he's made a huge impact at both ends of the floor. Robinson's checked in for Brooklyn. Reno Udrick, who's checked in for Los Angeles. Outside, Robinson. To the paint. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump thing. Not a quarter to remember as far as his offense is concerned. Yeah, you know, he's not making any kind of impact for them at that end of the court right now. And the lead's not getting any smaller. Just an incredibly well-rounded performance here on the road. And how good a feeling is that for this team to dominate the way they did in front of a hostile crowd? That is a satisfying feeling for the victors. The kid passes to Robinson. He kicks it to Johnson. Pass to the kid. Lots of room. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists tonight. Clippers leading by 21. And Udrick kicks to Griffin. Dishes it to Udrick. There's a good screen. Now, here's Reddick. Guarded closer. Four on the shot clock. Jack with the rebound. Brooklyn's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. Robinson misses. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. And Udrick kicks to Pierce. Five to shoot. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. They just haven't been able to contain Paul Pierce. Ten points. He's managed to get four of his points by way of the... Here's Paul. So for the Clippers right now, inside, it's Griffin and Jordan. Udrich out there with Chris Paul. And it's Crawford at the three. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up Clark that beautiful alley-oop dunk. Yeah, that was nice. No doubt there are assists and then that And here is Los Angeles now. Al Paul. Feeds it to Jordan. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Ten points for Jordan. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes. Like conducting an orchestra. The pass to the kid. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Outside Jordan. Here's Hudrick. Picked by Griffin. Down low. Deflects the pass. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. Yeah, but Clark, the other thing that sticks out for me, the number of assists they've made over the course of this game. Bargnani is checked in for Brooklyn. Mahimi's checked in for the Clippers. Austin comes in for Jamal Crawford. Picked by Bargnani. Here's Butler. 
Another one falls for Brooklyn. It was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Paul dishes to Udrich. Pass to Mahimi. Paul outside. Pick by Griffin. Paul passes to Griffin. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And he's been the catalyst all game long. Love how he's distributing the basketball. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, when the offense runs through him, it's really smooth. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Here's the kid defended by Paul. Lopez a screen. The kid passes to Lopez. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Brooklyn making some changes. Hollis Jefferson comes in for Bargnani. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Butler. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Harden's checked in. They set the pick. Back to Paul. The dish to Harden. Dives for it. From outside, off the mark. Brooklyn's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Now the Clippers moving it up. Here's Udrich. Good, and Paul gets the assist. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Here's the kid, defended by Paul. Passes it to Hollis Jefferson. Unloads from 13. And the jumper is good. 13 points for Brooke Lopez. You know, as soon as he recognized the height mismatch, he immediately pulled up for the jumper. And Greg, that's just good basketball. Come on, good basketball there. A clean look from that range. He's got to take it. Young with the steal. Here's the kid. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Young outside. They set the pick. Cork Mons. A three-pointer off the mark. L.A. has gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Rejected by Young. The kid passes to Young. Throws it up high. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Paul with the ball. Harden outside. And Udrich kicks to Harden. Paul for three. The shot no good. Excellent D there from the kid. The Nets have gone an outstanding four and five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Lopez a screen. The kid passes to Lopez. That's good. Lopez has got six in the quarter. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Paul kicks to Udra. There's a screen. The pass to Dawson. There's the triple. Rebound, Brooklyn. Lopez has got eight rebounds in this game. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Here's the kid. Young outside. He dishes it to Bogdanovich. Stolen by Harden. Young with the steal. He's got a clear path. Here's the kid. It's down the breakaway slam. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Over that last break, Kevin, I got the chance to hear what Brooklyn's head coach had to say to his team. He said making sharp entry feeds, getting the ball into the post, and getting points on the low block is going to be critical the rest of the way. Something else he mentioned is that he's giving them the green light on offense. He wants to see a high volume of shots. With the minutes ticking down and the deficit still a big one, those adjustments have to be a chance worth taking, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Doris. Butler in the corner. Offensive rebound, Nets. 
And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Well, some really terrific numbers for Young. Ten points, and the steals are starting to pile up for him also. And Clark, he's really got into their heads because of it. I mean, guys are on the lookout for him, always worrying about where he is. And the Clippers making a change here. Redick is checked in. Kicks it to Paul. He feeds it to Griffin. Dishes it to Reddick. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Griffin's got four assists now tonight. Got it. Ball inside. Here's the kid. It's Young on the wing from 15 feet away. Off the left rim and out. Yeah, good tough D there to get a hand up and force that miss. That's example number one of why he is such a strong defensive player and why he has such a great defensive reputation. Lopez outside. Here's the kid covered by Reddick. That's tipped. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. And he gets the bucket. 11 points for Chris Paul. And they're going to have a hard time climbing back into this game if they continue to defend like that. Griffin against Young. Now the feed to Lopez. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Short. And so he's picked up his final foul. Here's the kid. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Lopez outside. Passes to the kid. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. The kids got 11 in the second half. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. And that's been their focus, it seems, throughout the game. I like the discipline that they've showed in terms of creating those opportunities on the inside. Young, a screen on Reddick. Lopez, right side. Here's with the steal. And the foul called on Freak. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Mahimi's checked in for J.J. Redick. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. The kid passes to Young. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. You know, there are a lot of bigger power forwards than him in the NBA, but very few that rise up like he can. He kicks the ball. There's Crawford with the three. The rebound by Young. Young's got five rebounds tonight. Screen by Young. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. No good on that one. Shot. That one misses. Clippers leading by 21. Griffin dishes to Paul. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. And Griffin, here we go. Mahimi and Butler sends it back. Knocked away. Here's Johnson. Thanked in off the glass. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. L.A. has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Here's Paul. Mahimi kicks to Paul. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Got it. Get the ball inside. Here's the kid. Young, a screen on Paul. Move the ball. Stick it too much. Outside Butler. Paul against Butler. Paul passes to Mahimi. And Griffin slams it in. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Los Angeles. Agreed, Steve. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything. 
So the Clippers winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And